What's up, my fellow LTD addicts? Let's talk about Dropler. Dropler is a file sharing and screen capture tool designed to help you communicate with your team, your customers, or just about anyone else on the internet. AppSumo currently has a lifetime offer on Dropler, and in this video, I'm gonna dive deep into the offer and the software so you can decide whether it's right for your business. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Dave from ThatLTD.life where I review software tools with lifetime offers. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscription button and click the notification bell so you get notified when new reviews are posted. If you wanna follow along with what I'm doing, you can use our referral link, which is in the description below. Let's get right into it. Here is Dropler, the deal page over at AppSumo. You can see for 39 bucks, you're gonna get a single code. Let's see what that includes. So basically, all of the plans include these features, which is the file size that you can upload it can be up to 10 gigabytes so one file 10 gigabytes that's your maximum uh, and you're going to get five gigabytes of storage for each code that you purchase so if you're thinking of like a dropbox like plugin this is similar in some ways but there are some major differences and i will illustrate that for you in this video so uh, what's really cool is if you stack up to five codes uh, let's see if i can go down here five codes is going to get you unlimited storage so that right there is pretty impressive. Now, another impressive part of this deal is that you get 10 users for every single code that you purchase. So five codes getting you 50 users, one code getting you 10 users, you can do the math from there. Uh, so the specs, look really good for a cloud file sharing application right out of the gates here. 39 bucks is not a huge investment for a lifetime of five terabytes of online storage. Now, when you get started with Dropler, there's a couple things you're probably gonna wanna do. You're likely gonna wanna install the Chrome extension as well as the desktop application. Now, there's desktop software for both Mac and Windows, and it really adds a lot of functionality to your file system, so I highly recommend doing that. I'm currently using a Mac, so I have the Mac version of the software running up here in my taskbar. And if I click on it, you can see how easy it is to start using Dropler. I can upload a file. There's key commands for all of this as well, so if you use the software every day, you're probably going to want to learn those. I can upload a file just clicking that button. It lets me choose what file I'd like to upload. Uh, the next option here is to take a screenshot. It opens up some crosshairs. So I could say, take a screenshot of this and it will automatically upload that to my Dropler account where I could, uh, you know, see the statistics in terms of how many people have viewed the file. I could also decide whether I want this file to be private. So by default, Dropler sets all of your files to be public. However, they have these really kind of crazy uh, URLs where, you know, you can set the, you can actually get your own custom. We'll get into this in a bit, but you can set your own custom domain, but you're still going to get this random uh, slug after it. So it's going to be very hard for anyone to guess the URL. However, if you do want some more privacy, you can turn the privacy settings on and then you'll be able to choose a password for your specific link. You can also change it to be password protected by default. And as a third option, as you may have seen down here, you can also choose to share only with your team. However, if we go back to the AppSumo deal page, you're gonna see that the team sharing is only enabled when you get up to, I believe, three codes. So uh, the one code and two codes, you do not get team only viewing. So team only viewing is gonna be your most, most secure option because people will have to be logged into Dropler in order to be able to view your files, even if they have you know the URL it'll, it'll otherwise be hidden from them so I can go ahead and organize things here I could add it to a board a board is essentially a folder right I mean they're just using the the folder idea and calling it a board you know maybe a Pinterest type of idea uh, and then from here I could also annotate the file so I can hit this little draw button and it opens up a, a way to annotate you know maybe I want to blur out some information uh, this is private I can do that very easily I could add an emoji say okay this is pretty cool over here uh, I could quickly add a box to highlight something here are the different shapes that are available and let's say I was like oh this Oops, move the wrong part here. Say, this is a mistake, we need to change that. I can quickly kind of move it around and resize it if I get it wrong. So I think these tools are, are very easy and intuitive to use. Uh, they're fast. I actually think, you know, I use Mac 
almost all the time. And I think the built-in annotation on Mac is kind of slow and sluggish comparative to what I'm using inside of Dropler. Uh, I can add text. You can uh, choose what size the text is gonna be and go ahead and here uh, type Dropler. So you can see there's a lot you can do. Now I am missing one functionality here that I don't see and that is to crop. Uh, you know, here is to choose the color. Uh, I, can, I can either do it with the eyedropper, that's what that's supposed to be, or I can just uh, choose a, a one of their stock colors. But I don't see any way to crop the, the photo inside of Dropler. I think that'd be a really nice option and that is something that Cloud App lets you do. So if you're coming from Cloud App or you're uh, deciding between the two tools, one thing I don't notice is a way to crop inside a dropper. Of course, there's other ways to do that on your platform. You know, if you're using preview on Mac, you can easily crop something and I'm sure there is an equivalent on Windows as well. But there you go. If I wanted to save this, I could. And then the uh, URL gets updated here. I can copy that, go back to my dashboard, and you can see the drops that I've got here. So what's nice here is I kind of get versioning. So they created a new version of the screenshot. I still have the original unannotated version and then I get the annotated version as well again I'm gonna keep comparing this to cloud app because it's so similar cloud app just replaces your version it doesn't create a new version of the document so that's really nice all right I'm gonna actually go back up to the desktop settings here and we can look at some more of the options so we just saw the annotation tools inside the browser of course I can annotate on the desktop as well so I'll go ahead and take another screenshot here and we'll just get kind of uh, a mirror effect going. So now that I've got this open, you can see I'm on the desktop, I'm not inside the browser, but I've got all of the same tools available to me here. However, there's still no cropping, you know, minor pet peeve, but uh, you know, everything else is there. There's a couple new options. I can download the file if I wanted to, you know, create a new version, that's kind of nice. Uh, and then I can also grab it with this little grabby hand, which just basically lets me select it. So I could say drag and drop it into an email or put it into a folder if I wanted to do, say, dump it onto my desktop. That would be easy to do. Uh, nice little uh, bonus feature there. I haven't seen any any software really use uh, that type of command before, so that's interesting. Heading back to the desktop application here, I can also do a screen recording, either a high definition video, which will let me record with sound using a microphone on my system, or I can use a GIF, which is gonna be shorter in length and not have any sound at all. So let's look at the options here for the high definition video. You can see there are some settings down here below and I can choose a preset dimension. So if I wanted to record a phone size, there's options for that. And there are also some resolutions for sharing videos, you know, like 1080p, if you wanted to fit perfectly on a TV screen, you'd probably want to choose that resolution. That's what I record all my videos in 1080p just to, uh, you know, make it easy to show on YouTube. And you can also have it snap to the screen or do the full width of your entire monitor. Here are the options to choose the microphone that you want to use. And there's also a timer so you can have it go, uh, you know, give you a little bit of time before it starts recording. Uh, you can also turn off the mouse clicks if you don't want it to illustrate those as well. So those are the options for screen recording. Uh, decently featured. I'd like to see a video option, you know, maybe so I could record uh, a video like I'm doing right here, but that's not currently available inside of uh, Dropler. However, it is inside of Cloud App. So again, something to keep in mind. Now this next section I think is really cool. So there's some added functionality that you can include with Dropler. It's not there by default. You need to turn on these features. But uh, let's say you were very often sharing Photoshop mockups with a client, but you don't wanna send the entire Photoshop file to your client, that'd be ridiculous. Well, Dropler makes it really simple to just click on that Photoshop application and send it as a PNG without having to go into Photoshop and choose export for web and you know choose the right file options. You can just do it as a PNG. There's options here for Photoshop, for Sketch, for Illustrator, uh, and there's also some link shortening options as well connect up with font book or text wrangler to share fonts and uh, text as well so that's really cool uh, there's also some additional functionality here under more so th so that you can shorten links you can uh, upload your clipboard contents and you can even share code so i'll show you what that looks like here let's say i want to do a code snippet it just pops open this little window where i could uh, you know type in some html or some javascript and be able to share it uh, very easily maybe it's something that you use frequently and you want to be able to access or you just need to be able to get it over to another teammate this is a great way to be able to do that so 
Really, really thoughtful tools. You don't see that this in some of the competition. So I uh, got to commend Dropler there. All right, so that's it for the desktop application. You should probably have a pretty good idea of how Dropler works by now. Let's go ahead and look at the back end and see how we set everything up. So I'm gonna go into my Dropler account and go over to the settings. You can see there's just you know your basic kind of uh, profile settings here. You can change your password. And these settings are pretty important. You can choose whether a file self-destruct, inspector gadget style. By default, they're set to keep forever. But uh, you know, if you're uploading a lot of screenshots or something and you don't really need them to stay around, this is a way to kind of auto prune the file system so that things just go away and you're never gonna hit your, your five terabyte cap if you just buy the single code. So here are your options, uh, one month, three months, six months. Those are all seemingly pretty uh, reasonable options. However, you could set it to be as short as one hour. You can also choose whether the default setting for files is public or private. Now I don't have the team option here because I only have a single code. Again, I need to stack three codes to get the team option. You can also let your users define these settings. So right now it's set to define by admin, which means I'm gonna set it for the entire team. If I want it to be set on a user by user basis, you trust your users, uh, your teammates to make wise decisions here, you can uh, allow them to change the settings themselves. This is the section where you uh, define your team and you can also go ahead and uh, set your, your custom logo and your custom URL. So here is the, the link right now. It's set up to use their d.pr, which is a really nice short URL. But if you wanted to configure your own custom URL, you could use the custom domain, uh, which uh, the options are here. They teach you how to do it. Uh, there is also the ability to upload a logo. Let's go ahead and do that actually and see what this looks like. I've got uh, my logo here. I'll just drag and drop it in. And here is the preview. And if I go ahead and head over to one of my drops, let's refresh the page. You can see that now my logo is in the corner so that if I were to share this file with somebody and I was using my own custom domain, it would look really professional and you would really not know that I was even using Dropler other than the powered by Dropler uh, icon in the lower right hand corner. Let's go ahead and finish up our look at the settings here. There's some different themes you can choose, uh, either a dark theme or a light theme. You can see kind of the preview here of what that would look like. Basically, we're talking dark mode on the Mac. And that's it for the team settings. Here is where you would invite your users. You can either send them a link or just invite them by email. You have your billing options here. Of course, if you're using AppSumo, you're not gonna have to set up any billing. You can redeem additional codes right here inside the app. And there's a referral link here where if you wanna share Dropler with your community, you can start to earn some upgrades with Dropler. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up these features by looking at the web interface here. So this is where you can see the items that people have viewed most recently. Uh, there is also a My Items where you can just see all of the drops that you have. This is the board section where you can go ahead and kind of create a folder. Let's go ahead and do that so you can see what it looks like test board, I'll call it. By default, it is set to private. So uh, there is a password here that they generate for you. Of course, you can set it to be whatever you want. And you can also set up some sharing here. So if you wanted to share a board with a particular team member, it's very easy to do. Let's go ahead and create this board. And the board has been successfully created. Here is my test board. I can see there's nothing in it. I can either drop files right into my browser window, or of course I could go back to my items. I could choose the three little dots here and I could add it to a board so that it becomes organized. And here's the board I have. Let's go ahead and add it. Now let's uh, check it out. So, so you could see having a board for each client or each section of maybe a project you're working on. So you could really organize your files and know exactly where everything is. Of course, we can also tag each one of our files and keep them organized by tags. Uh, you can search by tag, um, you know, kind of nice features, thoughtful features, but nothing groundbreaking here. So by now you should have a pretty good understanding of everything Dropler can do for you and your business. Now, if you don't have a file sharing application like Dropler already, you'd be a fool to skip this one. I'll be blunt. This is a pretty incredible deal. Dropler has been very generous with their file capacity, the storage limits, as well as the amount of teammates that you can uh, share your deal with. If you have 10 or 20 people on your team, you can get a lifetime worth of file sharing for under a hundred bucks. That is jaw dropping. So go ahead and jump on this one. I'm gonna give it a very high score, a 9.1. Now, if you're new to the channel, I very rarely rate deals above eight. So this is a definitely a strong endorsement on my behalf. 
there are two features that I think are missing that have actually knocked down the score a little bit here. One is the cropping feature, and two is the ability to record from a webcam when you're doing a screen recording. If they added those in, it would definitely be one of my favorite tools of all time. So I think you should get this if you don't already have something like Cloud App. Really can't say it any more plainly than that. If this review has been helpful to you and you do go on to make a purchase, please consider using the link in the description. That is our referral link, which means it kicks us back a little bit of money here at the channel and helps us fund our LTV addiction so we can make more reviews like this for you. If you like the video, make sure you click like so I know you appreciate the content. Leave me any comments or questions down below and I promise I will respond to each and every one of you. Hey, and if you're looking for any digital marketing help, check out my agency, clientamp.com. I'll see you in the next review. Choose what I